people always ask me, why do you write positive stories? It limits you so much. I'm ready to answer the question for all of you that are actually curious as to why I stick to positive stories rather than just covering everything as a whole. It gets a little tiring, and it's not to say that we shouldn't be paying attention at what's going on in the world as a whole, because that's so important, but it's also important to pay attention to the good things that are going on in the world. And it's important to look at people in a different way and say, oh wow, with the ASPCA to raise money for animals that are becoming extinct, or there's people out there that are working really hard on human trafficking, like. My name is Tony Gaffestone, and I am a writer and director in the Bay Area, California, and I am doing a film called Neighbor. The neighbor is about a homeless man who witnesses some, some girls being harassed, and when he goes after the perpetrator, he uncovers a dirty little secret in suburbia, and that secret is human trafficking. I want to tell a story that brings awareness, that changes lives, that supports these agencies and organizations that are fighting this injustice, and I am raising funds to do it, and grateful for all the partnerships and nonprofit organizations that are making it all tax deductible, so join me. Uh, thanks for even considering it and being a part of this journey with me. And there's people out there that really want to change the world. I can say that positive thinking is key because I used to be a very negative person. I used to think the worst about a lot of situations and that's probably because of the way that I grew up. Um, my father always told me you're not good enough. You're never going to be a writer. You're never going to be a filmmaker. You're never going to do it because you have so much competition. I don't feel like focusing on the negative things in this life will ever pull people toward their goals. I, I write positive celebrity gossip because I feel like too many media outlets have focused on the negative side of things. It's kind of nice to see good things that people have done. How Taylor Swift has influenced the world through her music video. I mean, there's a music video that she recently did where all the proceeds are actually going to help animals in Africa, uh, Wildest Dreams. It's a great, great video. Bieber, he has done so many humanitarian efforts. Nobody's noticing these things, but he's noticing the mistakes he makes as a human being, which I think is silly because I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, and he's not perfect. The news, I kind of like bringing out the best in everybody, whether you're in the limelight, whether you're a normal individual that just likes to be behind the scenes. We're all doing great things. You're doing great things. I don't know what you're doing right now, but you could be in school and you could be trying to get straight A's. Like, that is great. That's a great step to your future and you should be proud of yourself. Be you and be proud. I see so many people that are so afraid to be themselves. And it's sad. I don't like to see people hiding from who they are, who they truly are, like in their heart, who they truly are. It matters who you are and it sucks to see you guys hide that. You're a guy and you like to dance? Dance! Dance your heart out. I, I see so many people that are, are so afraid to show their talents because they're afraid that the world is just gonna bag on them and put them down. and. You know, it's gonna happen. I mean, I judge people for having tattoos. I judge people for not going to church and automatically giving them an unrighteous judgment, you could say. And that was wrong with me, you know, and I finally grew up, which I can take the fault for that. And you know, I wanna say to anybody that I did hurt, I'm sorry for being judgmental. <sighs> to answer the question simply and quickly, why do I do celebrity gossip that's positive? Why do I write positive things? Why do I write only positive, positive, positive? Because as a kid, I was growing up and you know I didn't have the best life. Eh, we all have our trials. I just didn't like being told, you can't do it. You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. You know, I was told a lot of shitty things by my father and at that point, I was determined to prove him wrong. I didn't like being told I couldn't be a filmmaker. I didn't like being told I wouldn't influence people. Childhood was a little rough growing up, you know? The stupidest things. I'd be worried about what lecture I was going to get because 
I didn't, I wasn't good enough for him. And he made sure to make a point of that. I mean, to give you a great example, the, the word that you never call a girl, I got called every day. That big C word. And I was working, I started working at 14. Um, I went into my room and I started watching, still to this day, one of my favorite TV shows, Friends. And I was sitting there and I was sad because, you know, my father had been lecturing my mother or had actually forgotten her birthday and was completely, utterly wasted. Depressed and sad and, you know, I just want to run away with my mom. And during that time, I really didn't know how to handle the stress of life. And so I popped in Friends and I watched it and I laughed. And it was during that time when I realized, damn, I'm sure that as I grow older, there's going to be somebody else maybe in the same situation as me and I want to make them laugh too. Or I, if I can get their mind off of whatever it is going on in their life just for five minutes or an hour or even just for a few minutes at work, like I consider what I'm doing successful. And I care about making an honest, true difference in lives in, in the strangers lives that I don't know in, in your guys' lives I don't know a lot of you and I hope to one day know you I mean leave a comment tell me how you're doing I want to know how you're doing